Hi there, I'm Darrell Williams from Ferndangle Productions and in this tutorial I'll be explaining how to install WX Python uh, where you can make uh, DUIs, graphical user interfaces uh, for Python programs. So we'll be using WX Python with Python. Okay, the way that we install WX Python to be able to build DUIs for Python is we want to install we need to install WX Python so go to Google go WX Python now we could go here all right we'll go here okay so we're at the WX Python org website and where am I looking what am I looking for Downloads, Windows, and what do we have here? So it's got version 3, 32 at 20, uh, uh, Python 2.7. Um, okay, now the reason why I'm sticking to Python 2.7 and WX Python 2.8.12.1 bit of a tongue twister there is because uh, I use it not only for Windows but I also use it on Ubuntu Linux Ubuntu and the version of Python that is on Linux Ubuntu 14.04 LTS long-term support uh, the version is 2.7 and WX Python version is 2.8.12.1 so I like to have consistency on my Windows operating system and Linux because uh, I can make a program, a Python program on Windows and I can transfer it onto my Linux computer and it works. So I, I'd like to keep that happy medium. Um, I have tried Python 3 and uh, WX Python Phoenix version 3. Um, and there's not many tutorials on uh, WX Python 3 and I had a few problems with the widgets uh, the method of using the wizard some of the widgets has changed compared to what they were in 2.8 so I thought I'll just wait I'll wait on Linux Ubuntu when Ubuntu goes to Python 3 and WX Python 3 that's when I'll make the change Okay, so now on here on the wxpython.org download page, it only shows version 3 for Windows. So we'll go back to Google. Go back to Google and then we go 2.8.12.1. And there's, okay, so autocomplete gives me the version and then um, okay so I go here to SourceForge now if we have a look here when it's all loaded these versions show you how many how many downloads there have been for each version so we go down where are we? Okay. So we got WX Python 2.8 for Windows 32, 32 bit Unicode 2.8.12.1. It's got the highest number of downloads. So that is the version that we need to download. So I'll click that. and just waiting it says download will start shortly and then a pop-up box will show and then it's just a matter of clicking save this will start in three two one zero seconds and there we go so then you would click save I have already downloaded it okay so click save 
make sure you know where you're saving the file okay and then we'll go back because you'll also want the demo the demo and documents that you can refer to uh, where we docker OS X I don't want that uh, 2.8.1.2 that's the one there yep docs and demos click that you want that also so that you can reference it um, when you first start using WX Python if you look at the demo and documents uh, application it will be confusing it takes a while but then you will understand you'll get familiar with the code and there it is there and then you'll click save so I'll cancel that because I've already downloaded it okay so yeah I do have version 3 and I have tried that but yep yeah, I've given the reason why I'm sticking to these versions okay so first of all we need to install WX Python 2.8.12.1 before we install the docs and the demos so double click that and then it's asking uh, the publisher could not be verified well that's because it's Python or WX Python it's open source a click run and we're waiting okay right now wants to install it I've got user account control I'm using Vista this does get annoying I think it also happens on Windows 7 okay so click allow yes I want to run the application okay just download that minimize yeah we'll just show you the picture there WX Python WX Python rules okay so we click next do we accept yes we do click next that is the default location in the Python's 2.7 directory and the library site packages click next and then next so now we're installing that okay so it's it's finished if you meet read me file no compile leave these two all right we'll leave them all ticked we can cancel the the text file so finish there's the text file and up here it's installing WX Python okay I'm a little superstitious so I won't shut anything down until the Python shell closes and it's installed WX Python it probably won't affect it in any way but I just want to be safe okay so I'll close that and yes that's my recording oops okay so now we got the de oh, before we do that we'll open idle right I've got it up here because I use it a lot but I'll just go if it doesn't show in your start area here just in the search box type in lowercase idle and then it will appear so I've just clicked that I've installed WX Python I just want to check if it's in there so I go import WX okay no trace back yes it's in there okay I'll close that now I'll go to the demos run that okay use account control yes I want to allow this to install pardon me so I go next yes I accept the agreement next yep just leave it at the default okay yep okay accept the default and it's installing
Okay, we don't need to read the text file. Finish. Okay, so then we'll type in the search box WX Python. There we go, there is run Python demo. And here we go, this is the demo application. I refer to this quite a lot. So here you've got different dialogues. Text entry, about box, click that. Yep, there's your about box. Yep, color dialog. Yep, there's the color dialog. Oh, wonderful. Directory dialog. Yep, we use this with the GIF viewer using WX Form Builder. Oh, dialog, our file. Yep, that's looking up a file, open file down there. Yep. That's save as file. Uh, what else is there? Down here, more dialogues. Image dialog. I won't say that because it may be copyright copyright issues with Google. Yeah. So, and these are your core Windows controls that will work on a, a Windows operating system. And all the other examples. Uh, let's go to file dialog open demo code and there's all the code that you can refer to to see how they do it and this is my first choice to look for the code that works and then if that doesn't work then I'll do a search on the internet for answers it's got a print dialog let's have a look at the demo on that yep it's got the printer and everything okay so that is it we have installed uh, WX Python that we can build GUIs for Python so there'll be more tutorials to show you how to do that I hope you enjoyed the tutorial please leave any questions or comments that you may have on uh, the YouTube uh, web page this video is on leave a comment there and I'll try and get to you as soon as possible. Uh, in the meantime, have a good time with Python. Thank you. Goodbye.